Hello and welcome to another review from salesbug.com. Today we are going to be looking at the Genius SP-HF800A speaker set. <clears throat> now, Genius is advertising these speakers to be um, made of wood, um, wooden construction and 20 um, watt RMS. There is also connectivity from the front. We'll be talking about that in a second. Um, and copper uh, cones and so forth with front um, controls, etc. So let's start with the unboxing. Okay, recyclable packages with foam dampening to help it travel better. There's a uh, little instruction set over here. Okay, I'll move the boxes away and uh, I'll set it up and we'll be looking closer to it. Okay, so these are the speakers out of the box. Um, I'll just quickly go over them. See, wooden construction, pretty solid. Uh, at the back, there, there's just one connection to the um, right speaker, which I'll do right now. Um, on the other one, there are a few controls. You can turn the volume and it, it turns the speaker on, which is actually quite nice. I like it um, that uh, a lot of speakers do not have power on the front, like you got to reach at the back or something. This one, off, on, and volume. And then of course there's a tone controller. I would have liked a bass and treble, you know, that would have been better, but tone, uh, we'll just have to do with that. And at the back there's nothing really, just except for the uh, air duct over here. Um, and the cables are also very much down to the basic input for your um, laptop or desktop or whatever and the power cable and these are all hardware um, so that's the feature so far um, we'll have a closer look at the speakers itself um, to see the build quality and I'll be hooking that up in a second Okay, time for a quick practical demonstration. I've um, connected up with the power. Let's turn it on. There we are. Turns on with a blue LED. Now, what I'm going to do is instead of connecting it from the back, I'm going to show you something else. There's these cables. Um, you can buy it from practically any dollar store or something like that, uh, even online. Um, this will allow you to connect to your MP3 player, one end, and the other one just line in over here in the front. That's the uh, thing that I wanted to touch upon. Now what that does is it takes over from the connection from the back, it turns that off and you'll be able to hear what is being played on your MP3 player. So yeah, 